Can you remember your first kiss? What about your high school graduation or what you had for breakfast this morning? That's not too challenging, right? But what if you couldn't remember those things? What if you couldn't remember how to get to work in the morning? What if you couldn't remember the names of your loved ones, even if they were standing right in front of you? This kind of devastating memory loss is one of the defining behavioral features of Alzheimer's disease, which affects an estimated 50 million people worldwide. And researchers have yet to discover a cure. However, we do know that there are certain risk factors that might increase an individual's likelihood of getting this disease. First, we know that there's a genetic component in the form of a gene called APOE. And we know that different forms of APOE convey different amounts of risk. For example, APOE3 is considered to be more neutral, whereas APOE4 is considered to be more harmful. So if either of your parents is an APOE4 carrier, that would increase your likelihood for getting the disease. Second, we know that biological sex contributes to risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Ladies, you're actually at increased risk compared to the men in this room for developing Alzheimer's. And we think that this increased risk in women might be linked to a third risk factor, and that's the decline in circulating estrogens at the onset of menopause. So it's my job as a researcher to understand these three factors, genes, sex, and hormone loss, and how they might interact to contribute to risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. We model this in the lab using a genetic mouse model. So our male and female mice express either APOE3, which is neutral, or APOE4, which is harmful. And we test their memory. What we've seen so far is that our male APOE3 mice can remember, but our male APOE4 mice and our female APOE3 and APOE4 mice can't remember. This suggests to us that there's an interaction here between genes and sex. What about hormones? Well, when we deliver estrogens directly into the brain of our female mice, we're actually able to restore proper memory functioning in our female APOE3, but not APOE4 mice. These results were really striking to us because they suggest that not only is there this complex interplay between genes and sex, but also that we might actually be able to help certain individuals using estrogens. And what we hope is that this work will lay the foundation for future work, allowing us to develop better drug targets so that we can better treat Alzheimer's disease in each individual. Thank you.